Yes. This fall, blast off for comedy in color when Space Age meets Stone Age on It's About Time. Frank Aletter and Jack Mullaney are the time-trapped astronauts with Imogene Coca and Joey Ross as their prehistoric hosts. You all right, Hector? Sure. There's nothing like a soft landing. Yeah, and that was nothing like a soft landing. But if you should see anything unusual, Un unusual or unfamiliar, unfamiliar, especially if it's alive and strange, alive oh, and strange, let me know immediately. How about now? <laughs> well, those are just cavemen. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I believe it. <laughs> I don't believe it. I don't believe it. at 60,000 miles per second, remember? Uh, Hector. Yeah? According to Einstein's theory, yeah. when you pass the speed of light, you enter the dimension of time. Yeah? Uh, Captain, what are you telling me? We've broken the time barrier. We've gone back about a million years. Wow. A million years. <gasps> We're on flight pay. A million years at 12.50 an hour would be... <laughs> We're gone long time. No sweep when Gronk eats. Dad, what sweep to keep rear son out of mind? But no sweep. Shag no sweep, shag nag. <laughs> Mother, father. Wait, 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 Hector, wait, wait. I'm, uh, I'm sure that boy will straighten everything out. They can swing those clothes faster than he can talk. No, wait, I understand this culture, Hector. They are very primitive people, and they think only in terms of survival. Their feelings are very callous. They must be calloused all over. Ron C, two strange men near cave. Yes. One, that size. One, that size. One, wear skin like that. <laughs> One, wear skin like that. Uh, Grunk, help find. Good. Uh, yeah, we help find evil spirits, too. Yeah, we'll go that way. You go that way, we'll go that way. <gasps> Boss! <gasps> I've been scalped. One, say, evil spirits! <laughs> Yes. This fall, blast off for comedy in color when Space Age meets Stone Age on It's About Time. Frank Aletter and Jack Mullaney are the time-trapped astronauts with Imogene Coca and Joey Ross as their prehistoric hosts. <laughs> Nothing like a soft landing. Yeah, and that was nothing like a soft landing. <laughs> believe it, believe it. <laughs> I don't believe that. I, believe it. I don't believe that. 
don't believe it. I don't believe it. They're gone. Do we have to? Yes, we have to. I think we've seen enough of this planet. Let's get back in the capsule and head for Earth. Hector, we can't. We're on Earth. Oh, yeah, we're on Earth. Well, let's get back in the capsule and... <laughs> we're on Earth. <laughs> we blacked out at 60,000 miles per second, remember? Uh, Hector. But if you should see anything unusual, Un unusual, or unfamiliar, unfamiliar, especially if it's alive and strange, oh, alive and strange, let me know immediately. How about now? <laughs> well, those are just cavemen. I don't believe it. I believe it. I don't. Mother, father. Wait, 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 Hector, wait, wait. I'm, uh, I'm sure that boy will straighten everything out. They can swing those clothes faster than he can talk. No, wait, look, I don't understand this culture, Hector. They are very primitive people. They think only in terms of survival. Their feelings are very callous. They must be calloused all over. Tron C, two strange men near cave. Yes. One, that size. One, that size. One, wear skin like that? <laughs> One wear... Yeah? According to Einstein's theory, yeah. when you pass the speed of light, you enter the dimension of time. Yeah? Uh, Captain, what are you telling me? We've broken the time barrier. We've gone back about a million years. Wow. A million years. <gasps> We're on flight pay. A million years at 12.50 an hour would be... <laughs> We're gone long time. No sweep when Gronk eats. Dad, <laughs> what sweep to keep Rear Sun out of mind? No sweep. Shag no sweep, shag nag. 